Tuesday marks the end of Ramadan, the Muslim holy month. At a time when religion is often a source of division, one house of worship in Washington, D.C. is home to a surprising unity. Anna Werner pays a visit. Every Friday inside this historic church, there's a call to prayer, answered by hundreds of Muslims, surrounded by Christian icons. Two religions sharing the same space. It starts with people understanding each other. And then it grows to religions understanding each other. Farouk Syed has been organizing these Friday prayers ever since the Church of Epiphany opened its doors to the Muslim faithful who needed a place to worship eight years ago. The prayers began with 50 people. Now there are over 300 who pray each week with the church's blessing. It's our job to be the hands and feet of peace in the world, and how do we do that? It's by loving one another. I don't know if they ever thought that Muslims would come here and pray and become one of the biggest congregations of Church of Epiphany. So your congregation is much larger than the church's congregation? Yes. This is the biggest congregation that Church of Epiphany has, the Muslim prayers. Not only did they feed my stomach, but they also fed my soul. 50-year-old Saeed Bond is homeless. He converted to Islam in his 20s, but found this prayer service by chance three years ago. He's one of dozens of homeless people who are part of this congregation. He now helps prepare the sanctuary for Friday prayers. For Bond, the church has become more than just a place to pray. Look, look at that. I'm not Christian, but I look at that. That's beautiful. And during the prayers, we heard a sound, church bells. It's amazing. You know, it's amazing to see two things together. You know, who can imagine, you know, church bells ringing and a Muslim giving a sermon? It's a moment of reflection for people who think that we are different. We are all the same. We are all the same. Muslims and Christians in unity in a church bearing witness to an epiphany. Anna Werner, CBS News, Washington, D.C.